Welcome back guys, Skyking here. Uh, it has been roughly about nine months since I've recorded a video with my voice, and it's a very weird experience for me to get back into this, but it's something that's really important to me and something I want to continue to do. So all that being said, we're going to get into the video today. Um, we're going to be dealing with our truck problem. We have a truck line going from this factory to our main factory that we're at currently. We have one over here that's running from our coal plant and bringing compacted coal and coal into this area. Then we need to get the compacted coal from this docking station over to here with this truck that's completely out of fuel. So we have three different trucks here that we got to kind of organize and everything. Hopefully that's all going to set us up to where we can run turbo fuel off of our uh, oil plant that we have set up over here. And then we'll be able to make a steel production in the current factory that we're in now, which is our computer factory. If you've seen that video, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll pin it somewhere. Um, we are currently making uh, an abysmal amount of screws out of this factory uh, and we're pretty much just dumping all of it. The only things that we really would need would be, I believe, plastic. Um, so if we go to our heavy modular frames, we have the regular frames which you can make. We have tons of iron here. We have steel pipe which will get off our coal production. Uh, the encased steel beams or industrial beams or whatever you want to call them are just need really concrete if we're making steel anyway we'll have that we have an alternative recipe so we just sit all on the pipes and it'll all should work out and then we have well over 100 screws so this factory will end up having the capacity to run both of the main um, uh, manufacturer parts off of it if we can get all this set up properly but in order to do all that we need to be able to get these truck lines figured out and we'll go over here we'll show you our uh, computer setup it is kind of still a mess here but it's pretty nice um, I think it turned out good. So this is our main manufacturer here that's running computers. And this box is actually completely full at this point. So we're pretty good on computers, but it would be really nice to be able to run both the manufacturer parts out of just one facility. It's just going to take a lot of logistics. So we're going to get into all that today. We're going to start off by heading over to um, our docking station outside and start trying to create an organizer so we can get the compacted coal and regular coal split up. So we're over here, uh, I've set up a little square. This is kind of where I want all the sorting to happen. Um, there's The main reason behind it is I still wanna leave one block gap in between this and the actual um, iron rod stuff here because I, if I put this wall here, that's fine. If this stuff sticks out, I wanna use this as like a transfer line. You can kind of see that stuff already. That's uh, some iron ore that's being run off that uh, miner over there. So if I can leave this gap here and kind of do like a transfer tunnel and I just got to figure out, figure out how to fit all of this sorting in this area, which should be okay. The main problem I'm running into already, though, is I have way over what my uh, actual conveyor belt capacity is. Right now, we do have the Mark IV lines, which can do 480 per minute, but I have more than 480 coming in here. I have 480 coal, and then I have the compacted coal, which is another 120 on top of it. So in total, if it's a perfect transfer between the truck, it should be 600 a minute, and I can't do that with the belts I have now. So my plan is... I'm going to make two smart splitters uh, like right here and if I can get the compacted coal like out of the way immediately then I won't have to worry about um, the other stuff and I get this down to just line or just one line of the uh, compacted coal and or sorry the regular coal and then I can split it down a little further uh, it's been like nine months my talking and communicating about what I'm trying to do is not the best right now so uh let me try to work out those lines a little bit more and then I come back with an update. All right, so I set it up a little bit better. Uh, hopefully you guys can look at it and understand it a little bit better than my words are because there's just a lot of a lot of things to be said there trying to mix compacted coal and regular coal and get it all separated. It'd be a bit complicated to talk about, but uh, I put in the two smart lines are the smart splitters here. This is splitting the compacted coal off to the left and the right and then merging it here. So we should have compacted coal here and then regular coal here. All we're going to do now is hook up the Mark IV belts to the actual storage units here. And hopefully this can run long enough for us to start seeing stuff get se or separated. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and kind of see what it does. And then I have to dump all this stuff down the sink. But I'm just going to let it run for a little bit and see if we can actually end up getting this separated. So while I was waiting, I figured that we would connect everything up over here. I haven't been setting all the coal possibly there yet, quite yet. Because I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to deal with uh, trying to run a system that wasn't working properly until I knew that I had it set up good. And I think that it looks good. We're still going to keep trying it, but 
Now I have the full coal line, which is the, the 480 that we were talking about, and then we have the compacted coal, which is running about 120, coming off of those two um, assemblers there. And uh, it's all running in here now. So this should be filling up really, really quick. So we need to find out, one, if the truck station even has enough uh, capacity to handle the amount coming in, and then we need to see if we're able to sort it at a rate that's sufficient enough to run the system fully. If we can't get all of it, then I'm going to have to either get another truck or find out another way to get this over here. I really would prefer not to belt it. Uh, I really want to use the trucks, and I'm going to continue to try to find a way to do that properly. Um, I know we are close to unlocking the monorail system, but I think this is just too short of a distance to actually have to run a train from here to there. Like this, It's a simple hyper to ride or already right back over here. It's probably short enough to belt, but I really don't want to belt anything quite that distance. It's just a weird distance where the only real option is to use a truck, so we're just hoping that it can all fit in there properly and we can all manage to sort it. So uh, I'm going to come back in just a second once I have uh, a load coming in and see how it's going to organize all of it. All right, so here comes our truck. Let's see uh, see if it's going to be able to handle all this. So there's the split. There's the compacted coal coming in. We have a regular coal. The thing that I'm worried about is... If we don't have the belts to support it, it's going to pull a lot of the coal first, just like it did there. So we didn't get like hardly any, and then we just got a big chunk of compacted coal. Which, the compacted coal is going to get switched over to the other side, so I'm hoping that it won't be a problem. But I, I always I always feel extremely weird about running trucks. I've, I've never been able to make it work properly, so I may have to do some research into how to get it to work. I know that a lot of people I've seen online have been really successful with them, but I get really, really weird when it comes to not having a complete number. Um, I'm going to continue to watch this. It looks like we got all the compacted coal. Uh, there's coal there. Compacted coal has already been ran down the sink, so that's fine. But we're going to sit here for another little bit and see when it's going to come in again, if this is still going to be full by the time the truck gets here. So it does give a transfer rate of 466, which should actually work for the belts, but... I don't know. There's a lot of numbers there. It's, it's confusing for me. I'm just trying to make sense of all of it. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Because that's all I can really do. See, this is this is a problem because this is still still dumping stuff from the load before, which means this is going to fill up. Yeah, that number jumped up even more. Now it's, now it's close to where it should be, but this was, wasn't empty by the time this truck got here, which means... This is going to fill up. This will be full, and I'll have to make a buffer. And even with the buffer, I mean, I can run an overflow. If, if I put the industrial uh, storage thing like these, you can actually run two of the Mark Bore lines out of it, which should give you 800. So I, I might have to make a buffer and a dump just to get all this out of here. But, I mean, this should this should be working. I don't know. Those are two. That's, that's 800. A minute. I don't know why it's not being able to finish it. Okay, let me uh, let me try to figure out some more stuff and uh, see what I can do. Okay, I, after looking at that, I feel so stupid, and I feel like for the last four minutes you've probably been screaming at your screen trying to correct me on what the hell I was doing wrong. So I was merging this down to one line because I thought that since the the coal is coming in at at the four eighty mark. That if the compacted coal wasn't coming in, to be able to merge down to a single line. And that's not going to be the case. Because this was stuttering, and I thought it was just because it was the smart uh, splitter trying to read the coal. So I, I double checked the lines, and I realized that I merged it down to one, and it was essentially only getting the 480 out of it. So with this setup like this, now it can actually pull off both these splitters at full speed. So we're going to see. Um, I'm just going to have to watch it really closely and see if it's actually going to start lowering the amount of stacks in this uh, truck station. Because if it doesn't, this isn't going to work at all. And I'm going to have to come with a whole new thing. I might have to run a second truck just to get this all to work. So um, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to see if I can actually get this going in the right direction now. Yeah, just in the time that I took to talk, it looks like it is actually just pulling out of here so fast now. So uh, this is going to work. It's just a matter of getting this all into the place that I need it to go to. Um, and then it sucks because I'm not going to be able to merge these two lines, and these are coal lines. Which I guess I can... It, it won't be a problem. I'll be able to figure it out until I get the Mark V lines, which I believe run the 720. 
But I have to finish phase three, and I haven't even started on any of these, um, uh, what are they called, structure parts? I, I forgot the name for them. But I'm a bit far off again the Mark V lines, and uh, I'll just have to make do for now. It'll be okay. So we're going to see now. We're going to continue to watch it. I believe just off of seeing it before that I'll be able to run everything down. I just need to watch it and confirm that before I move forward because I don't want to have any problems down the line. And we're all good. The truck station is completely empty. It's all went into the correct storage boxes and the truck's able to come in and not um, have to wait for anything. It's not going to fill the truck station, which is good. So I'm going to close that line off all the way down there and then get rid of this stuff after it finished dumping everything down the sink and then I can start moving on to the next step, which should be to get um, uh, the compacted coal heading over that way to that truck station and then this coal needs to run down here to be mixed in with some iron uh, nodes right there. And that should be what we need to run our smelters and all of our steel stations and then we have at the very end over that way is uh, concrete nodes. There's one more underneath there if I need to use that one so that I can make my encased steel beams and then I just need to make the modular frames. I have two more, three more iron nodes over there which I can run through our little transport tunnel right here and try to mix everything in this area which I'm going to add a couple floors because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all this on one level. Uh, that's a much bigger project that's probably going to be the next episode. Today's more about fixing these truck stations and getting all this set up. So we're going to get back to work and clearing this up and then I'll be back with an update in a second. So we were able to clear everything out. Everything's working properly. Um, I did make this little building around it and painted it uh, blue. That is a glitch. It's already painted blue, but um, currently in the, the in-between of 7 and 8 uh, updates, everything's all kind of messed up right now. Uh, so we're going to leave this alone for right now. We're going to start working on this tunnel behind, which means I have to wall off this whole section. Uh, I'm going to go down here all the way with these uh, these frame foundation things. And I'm going to try to get this uh, line for this fuel to run in between here through the middle of this factory. Because I need to get it one there, which I can run a splitter. And then it has to go this way alongside the uh, compacted coal that we're sending off to the other factory. So we're going to get started on all that, start building this little middle section here, and then I'll get an update in a second. Okay, so we were able to delete everything that was in here, and then we ran this merger line up to the wall to make it nice and pretty. And then uh, this runs into our little tunnel here. We've already split our fuel. Uh, it, it's not pretty. I'm not going to deny that it's not pretty. Okay, it's 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 it does not look good. It's not very right angle-y at all. It's just kind of haphazardly thrown in here, but... This is like a behind the scenes thing, so it really won't matter anyway. If I feel inclined later on, I'll go through and do it. Like, you can kind of see that's messed up through this little gap here, so. Um, maybe I'll put like a wall here to block off from actually seeing that. Or I can put in, I can put in one of these, these little two wall things here. But I'll, I'll clean it up later. It's more about just getting the functionality fixed because right now that truck line over there isn't even running. And on top of that, I still have to figure out how to get the coal back because I have to run an entire second station to take and unload because right now it's going the opposite direction. So uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. We're going to continue working on getting this fuel and everything hooked up over to that side. Uh, I will be back with an update in a second. Alrighty, so here over on the other side where our plastic intake is, um, I was looking at this and I think the best way to do this is to try to just have two different truck stations because this is going to become a two-way uh, highway. We need to have plastic come in from there. That's our truck over there that's completely out of uh, fuel, which we'll fix that in a second. Then we have, um, so we have plastic coming in. That plastic goes in there, which makes our circuit boards, which is for our computers, which is really, really important. And then now we're going to have compacted coal that's going to essentially try to go down the same highway. So my plan is, if I can have this as an unload and then this as a load, then as long as I have the trucks enter the unload first uh, and then go to the load section, it should be able to kind of fix itself. So it's, uh, that's my theory. That's what I'm going to try to do. And that way I can, all, I can make this work with just one truck and it should be okay. But I'm going to have to test everything out and see how it is. I expand this platform a little bit. We now have a fuel hookup over here. So we don't have to worry about having to fuel anything else. It should be have... It should pick up plenty of fuel from just this side alone, then it won't have to worry about any of the other stations needing one, because it is kind of a shorter highway. So I have to build another truck station over there and probably expand that platform a little bit more. So I'm going to set all this up, and then I'm going to redo the truck like track that's following and see if I can make it work. 
there's already a pause over there, so I'm hoping that it'll just figure itself out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this looks dumb. I'm not denying that, but uh, I'm not really worried about that right now. I want to quickly just get this empty because that one over there is completely full, and this really isn't taking all that much plastic. It's filling up a crate in there. I don't think I actually have the hook into a seek at all. So eventually this is just going to stop flowing because right now our computers are full. So the circuit boards that are coming out of there are just filling up in that uh, storage tank in there. So this is going to stop eventually and this is going to continue to produce and then eventually fill this up and then fill that up. So we're going to leave this like here just try to dump all this out of here. This is still getting the maximum amount that it could possibly use. Um, so I'm really not all that worried about it. As long as that's stuttering, that means it's getting what it needs. So that's not a problem. The only other problem right now is what's in and up on the other side of this. So we're going to go ahead and head down there and see what we can dump out of that side. Oh, jeez. It got so bad so fast. It it literally cycled like three times and it started completely full of plastic. Let's, uh, let's, what's in this side? Yeah, say it's pretty much full. Actually, I'm thinking that if I could switch this to load... There's, technically there's no input on this, I'll just switch this to load and then it should all end up on the other side. So I don't even think I'll need to clear this out, I think I'll let the truck do it itself, but um, I'm going to go hooked up. I, I don't want to add the compacted coal into loop quite yet because it's going to add a bunch of problems. So we're going to just leave this how it is now and let this fill up. Or let this stuff get all the way down there and in the meantime I'm going to try to work on cleaning up this area a little bit just to make the highway a little bit better. We added a couple little railings in and everything. And, uh, rude. So this is switching to load. This is actually putting this in here. So it is working out. This is going to end up on the other side, which is great. Hopefully it just takes all of this. Oh, yeah, that worked out awesome. And then I put in a, a couple barriers to make it look a little prettier. I add the asphalt in like it needs to be. And then I got to do the same down there. And then, provided that this is all working right, I should be able to just add this in to the compacted coal and then get it over to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up this side real fast and then do the compacted coal and then see where we're at. Alright, so I cleaned up this side a little bit. I put in more barriers. I had to put railings here because for some reason these road barriers won't... Jeez. They won't do the thing. So uh, I had to use railings, which... Uh, it's it's alright. Okay. I don't think it's going to keep these trucks on here, but I mean it's worth a shot, I guess. So with this all set up now, the last thing to do is hook up the good compacted coal organizer over there, and then hopefully we should end up with compacted coal on the other side, and that'll be the end of the video. So we're gonna go hook up that line real quick. So we've hooked up the compacted coal. Uh, we're gonna leave the regular coal alone for now because I don't even have the steel set up, and I don't want to try to add that into the mix and risk having a contamination problem on the other side. Because if we wind up with coal all the way down the oil processing plant, we're gonna be really, really in trouble. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this compacted coal fill up here. It should be picking up in that truck. And then hopefully on the other side, we should have compacted coal being sorted and then sent down the line to the actual other truck station where we can move to the compacted or the oil processing plant. And from there, we can hook it up into our um, fuel refineries to make our turbo, our turbo fuel. And then we'll see uh, what sort of power gains we see off of running turbo fuel as opposed to the regular fuel. And... Um, if there's no gain, which I've never used turbo fuel before, um, I would be really disappointed because I spent the last 20 minutes making this elaborate truck station for nothing. So um, we're going to go ahead and let this cycle, do all the things it needs to do, follow it down the line, and then we will make sure that we got get back to coal on the other side. So I will be back in just a little bit. So our truck is coming into the station now, taking it out of there, and we have plastic here. Oh, jeez. All right, so we have plastic here somehow, which I don't know how we got plastic here because this is completely full. Now we start to unload. So for some reason, the plastic isn't getting dumped off over there. We're going to take all this plastic out of here. 
and we're going to check on the other side and see if the truck is actually releasing all the plastic at the other one or if it's being somewhat behind. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go check on that. So this truck station is completely empty right now, and this barely brought over even like a stack. So I'm thinking it was just a fluke, and it happened in between me not having everything set up right before I actually set that to unload. So I'm thinking that I just jumped the gun on it. So we'll, we'll let it run for a little while and see where it's at. And then worst case, if I can't seem to figure out why this is making it over there, you can run an intake line. Like um, if we take the, 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 the send line, I don't know what's, if I take this line and I hook it up to that one over there, it'll just take any of the leftover stuff. Like I can sort compacted coal if it ends up in this one through a splitter and then just loop it around to the other side if I have to. But I don't want to do that because you create another line. It's going to get all confusing. So I'm going to try to leave that as it is and hopefully this is right. Every, everything that I, I look at says that this is right and I should be okay. But uh, I'm going to check it off camera and just kind of leave it alone. Either way, that's going to be the end of the video. In our next video, we're going to start working on our steel stuff, which will be the coal lines that are over there. And getting all that stuff set up. So thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. And uh, let's be Sky King signing off.